Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I've got something very exciting to share with you guys today. However, just so you know, I am keeping this one close to the chest. I'm not going to be sharing the URL. I'm not going to be talking too much about this case study, but I wanted to show you guys something that I've been working on in the background. Let's just get into it. I've been working very, very hard to make the best AI writing tool on the market. If you want to give it a go today, please check out harborseo.ai. We currently have a monthly half price offer. Just use the code half price. So this is a brand new website that was released on the 12th of November, 2024. It's been a week. And on Saturday, the 16th of November, we got 20,000 impressions and seven clicks. Now, a lot of people say to me, oh my God, your CTR is 0.1%. This website sucks, blah, blah, blah. If you are looking at site-wide CTR over a three month period, taking into account every keyword, I'm sorry to say, and I really hate to do this, but you're a bit of an idiot, okay? And let me explain to you why. Why the f Why would you want to know the site-wide CTR over a three month period of 10,000 different keywords. That doesn't make any sense. The only time CTR is useful is when you're looking at a specific day or a specific keyword, okay? CTR is not to be used and also average position. Neither of them should be used site-wide, okay? It's not a useful metric. Stop leaving comments saying, oh my God, 0.1% CTR, that's the worst ever, you suck, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, but you don't know what you're talking about if you're looking at site-wide CTR, so please stop commenting that. This is insane. 20,000 impressions in under a week, and this is about to get even more insane. Let's go on most recent date. 31,500 impressions, okay? Now, I'm going to explain how I did this. I'm not going to be giving away the website. We're going to keep this as a case study, a secret case study for now, just because I don't want people clicking on it. I, I just... I just want it to be a real case study, okay? So nobody knows about this website except me and a few people that work here at the agency, okay? So let's talk a little bit how, about how I did this and how you guys can do this for yourselves and why you would even want to do this, okay? So I'm gonna take an example of a plumber, okay? Let's say you're doing SEO for a plumber or you are a plumber or whatever, okay? You just wanna grow your presence online for a plumber or as a plumber, whatever, okay? So let's just say best plumbers in X, okay, is a keyword. So X being your region, your location. Now, I want you to keep these websites quite small. Now, the one I just showed you before, it's quite a big website. I'm not going to lie. I may have accidentally spent a lot of money on uh, Google Cloud, okay? So just be extremely careful. I'm talking maybe do 3,000 pages, 2,000 pages maximum. Otherwise, you're going to end up paying a lot of money. Do not make the same mistake that I made. Okay, luckily, you know, we have the business to back me up if I make a mistake like that. So I'm going to say this right now. Do not do more than 3,000 pages at once. You can calculate the number of pages by how many um, jobs, sorry, how many locations by how many modifiers, okay? So let's say you do 300 locations with 10 modifiers, that's 3,000 pages. That's enough for most people, okay? Or, again, you could do 30 locations with 100 modifiers, and that would be 3,000 pages. Do not go too crazy with this. You will end up spending a shitload of money, okay? So just be very, very careful with that. Okay, so determine your job keywords. Let's just say plumbers for now. Determine your modifiers, okay? And then also, uh, this should also say determine your location. So determine your locations, okay? So boroughs, neighborhoods, um, and states, and you know, whatever, okay? Whatever works for you. It's very hard for me to tell you what works for you. You need to know what locations you serve, okay? I can't help you with that. Determine your modifiers. For example, okay, emergency, 24-7, types of plumbing. Now, I did find something very, very useful for this, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this again um, because I found it in a very, very strange way. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to find it. But there's a way to see the topics that Google 
likes for local SEO. I will make a video on that at some point, but for now, let's just say like, I am a plumber and I want to advertise online. I have some modifiers like 24 seven emergency, etc. I want you to give me 30 more modifiers for types of plumbing people are searching for, okay? So for now, we can just use logical SEO. So let's have a look. Affordable, reliable, professional, experienced. Okay, so a lot of these are good. Okay, so yeah, towards the end, we have drain cleaning, water heater, leak detection, pipe repair, faucet repair, toilet installation, sewer line, gas line, remodel, new construction, backflow prevention, plumbing inspection. Okay, so a lot of these are good. Some of these are not so good. I wouldn't really go for like licensed or experienced necessarily. Um, I would go for more like uh, water heater, leak detection, pipe repair, that kind of stuff are probably better modifiers. So what I can actually do is I can take these, I like these, give me more of these, and then just ask it for more. So clog removal, pipe replacement, hydro jetting, hydro jetting burst pipe repair, water line repair, garbage repair, blah, 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 okay? These are much better. I like these a lot more. Now we have about 50 modifiers, let's say, that we like. So you can actually get $200 of free Google Cloud credits, which in my naivety, I thought the setting up one website with 260,000 pages and one with 70,000 pages would somehow be covered by $200 of free Google credits. It was not covered, okay? You get 200 every single month, okay? So remember that. Set up a small site in your area. Now I'm gonna add something here. With server-side rendering and with Cacheing. I'm going to sneeze. Cacheing, in this case, I used cacheing with Mongo, MongoDB. Okay, so how that works is, um, and I, I, I want to make many more videos about this, just so you know, this is just an introductory video. I, I'll make one of these websites for you guys. I'll show you how it's done. I'll pick a niche, or you can comment a niche down below if you want. But basically what happens is, um, you create all of the different locations and modifiers in a CSV file, okay? And then you tell uh, Cla uh, Claude or uh, Klein or Cursor or whatever you want to use to make you one of these websites. Now I do, I will leave in the description a prompt that I've been using to make these kinds of websites and it works very, very well, okay? Then you store uh, yeah, you, you then you get indexed on Google. You you put it on Search Console. You add a sitemap. Uh, you get the home page indexed. Then what happens, which is very interesting, and I didn't even know this, is Google itself will send crawlers. I obviously I knew that, but it will send crawlers on every single page, which will then render that page. Okay, it will send the API request. It will collect the data, and then it will actually cache that result so you once you paid for it it's paid for okay i have a six month cache so i won't have to pay any money to google for six months basically um now this might seem a bit strange where i'm going with this but just just bear with me the reason we keep it small is so it's basically free because you get 200 credit credits every single month from google you set up the website and yes you are advertising other people's services so i'll just give you an example of this you might think like, why would I want to advertise other people's services? That doesn't make sense, Hamish, what the hell are you doing? This is not legal advice, okay? Please do not take this as legal advice. Please ask someone uh, or do your own research or whatever. But from my understanding or from ChatGPT's understanding for me, it's perfectly legal for you to put an advert here for your services, okay? As long as it's very clearly labeled as an advert, okay? If you try and put yourself at the top of these results without saying that this is an ad, that is not legal, okay? But as long as you are saying this is an ad, this is my business, it's an ad, then it's different. You are allowed to do that, from my understanding, from ChatGPT's uh, interpretation of um, an FTC or whatever, uh, document okay so again double check that but from my understanding um, you set up the website yes you are advertising other people's services as well but you can put an advert for your service at the very top 
clearly labeled as an advert, okay? Again, this is not legal advice. I use ChatGPT for my advice, okay, which is probably not the best idea. But ChatGPT did say it was 85% sure this was legal, okay? Which for me is kind of, you know, it, I also read the document. I didn't just rely on ChatGPT. And they do say that as long as it's clearly advertised as an advert, you're not breaking any law, okay? So as long as you say this is an ad, then it's totally fine, okay? So what we do is we set up a website, we get our locations, we get our um, modifiers, like emergency plumber, 24-7 plumber, whatever plumber, and then you create pages like best emergency plumber in X town in Y borough, or whatever you call them in the US, in Z state, right? And then you have an advert at the top for your service, then you list everyone else's below, okay? Now, from my understanding, again, this is not legal advice. This is perfectly fine to do as long as you label the fact that it's an advert. Okay, so guys, I'm probably gonna leave the video there, but I mean, 31,000 impressions when this website hasn't even been released to the public is pretty insane, to be honest with you. I've never seen anything like this. Now, find a business UK, the same thing did happen. We got hit. I'm not expecting the same thing to happen here because this is a much niche website. Now, let's leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more videos like this and if you want me to show you how to make one of these websites, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you're interested to find out about the best AI content generator on the market.